Although we now know how the hub works and interacts with all the other components, we still don't know what external load condition we should apply. This is step two of the process, and where we have to start making engineering judgments. Out of the possible infinite number of loads and load cases which could be applied, we have to select one which we hope will cover most eventualities and be an appropriate worst case. Let's hear what Lewis has to say. The car takes a considerable amount of abuse during a race and obviously within that there are probably thousands of different load cases, all of different magnitudes and directions. So to try and make our lives easier in terms of our modelling we consider three, three worst case loadings one of which is lateral cornering, which is also which is considered at high speed, uh, longitudinal braking, which goes up and down the car like this, and vertical, which is effectively analogous to hitting a big bump. For the component in question here, the hub, by far the worst case is the cornering. So Lewis considers the lateral cornering force as an appropriate worst case. Notice that in reality, the forces are changing from one moment to the next. We are looking at the situation for one instant. By considering the force statically, and perhaps increasing it with a safety factor allowance, we hope to embrace all load cases that are likely to arise. This is a decision you make as the designer, based on experience. The computer won't do it for you, and it's no good leaving it to a computer analyst either. If you're in any doubt about which might be a worst case, it may be advisable to try a range of load cases. Thank you.